Welcome to Word Vibes of the Record. I'm Donnit and today we'll be talking about the mystery of Christ. A mystery is something that growing up as a teenager, I love mystery stories. God had a mystery. As a matter of fact, there are several mysteries hidden in the scriptures. But today we're going to be talking about the mystery of Christ. Now, what is a mystery? A mystery is something that is hidden. It means to shut the mouth as no one can explain it until it is revealed or after it is revealed. God had a mystery, the mystery of Christ. And he hid this mystery for many years throughout the entire Old Testament. Every prophet prophesied bits and pieces of this mystery. But we see in Colossians 1 verse 25, that he mentions this mystery. He says, even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but is now made manifest to his saints. And as we continue to read, we see, we will see exactly how he is making that mystery manifested to his saints in these last days. Let's go on to look at that exactly. Colossians 1 verse 27. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So he has now told us what the mystery is. The mystery is Christ in us, the hope of glory. Now guess what? God has had this mystery locked up in himself for many, many years. And in our time, in our dispensation, he has chosen how to reveal this mystery. He has chosen to reveal this mystery through his holy apostles and prophets, as we see in the book of Ephesians 4 verse 11 to 16, where God has ordained that the fivefold ministry headed by the apostles and prophets would be who he would reveal the mystery of Christ through the mystery that would be used to help to perfect the church, perfect the body of Christ for the work of the ministry. God is so awesome. He determined in his wisdom that everyone who is in Christ would be a part of this mystery. Christ would be in us. This is exciting because God has always been with man. He was in the garden. He was in the tabernacle. He was in the temple. God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, and now God is in us. Christ is living in us. This is awesome. Today, the mystery, however, must be preached. The mystery must be, must be preached within the boundaries of the faith. And I'm making reference here now to one of our latter-day apostles who God has used to preach the mystery to the church of Jesus Christ. She, in her book, The Apostles, her teaching on the apostles, clearly outlined that God has determined that the mystery of Christ be preached within the boundaries of the faith, which are oneness, faith, suffering, and purpose. Now, the mystery of Christ is being preached today as it was in the early church. And the apostles are charged not to just preach the mystery of Christ, but to install it systematically by teaching the word of God in the people of God so that Christ can be formed in us and the Christ who is alive in us can be made manifested to the earth. So what is the mystery of Christ? The mystery of Christ that was hidden for many, many years is simply Christ in us. Christ Jesus would be installed in human flesh. And when we agree with him in us, when we receive his very life, his very life would testify, would manifest the works of Jesus Christ and cause men to see and acknowledge a true and living God. Are you a part of this mystery? Are you one that God has called to be a part of this mystery? Everyone who is in Christ, is a part of this mystery. But sadly though, many of our New Testament believers do not see and cannot see the mysteries of Christ for many reasons. For one, 
It could be that we are spiritually ignorant of this mystery. Two, sin blocks us from seeing the mysteries of Christ. Three, unless there are, there, there, are, there, are, there are fivefold ministers who are hooked up to God, you will not get accurate teachings to point you to this mystery and to develop the life of Christ in you so you can manifest into your, those in your sphere of influence. But this is a new day. If you are watching today and you might, you might look at this topic and you're saying, the mystery of Christ, I want for you to begin to pray and ask God to open the eyes of your heart to unveil this mystery to you, to install the mystery through you and cause you to be working the works of God that he has ordained for you before the foundation of the earth. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that in your wisdom, you ordain that the mystery of Christ would be Christ in us. We ask that you'll open the eyes of, your, of the heart sorry, of your people around the globe to see you in us and to agree with you so that you are formed in us, so that your life can transform many and bring us into the reality of that which you have purposed from before the world began. We love you. We honor you. Thank you for the mystery of Christ. In Jesus' name.